What's up guys? We're about to change the ball joints on this 2002 E150 and Stephanie's holding it in place right now. There she is. Hi. Now for the fun part. <laughs> Watching his butt run away. So the first thing you want to do is take a screwdriver, plop it in right there. This will loosen things up a little bit. You want to shake it around a little bit so it's not gripping as hard. And uh, you know, you could do this pretty rough. You could be rough with that. Um, the next thing. Yeah, first polish and stuff. Got it. Next thing is a little button right there. You press that. And then, well, let me just take it out. Oh, it's not. Yeah, we definitely need this off. I think it's coming. So the next thing you do, you take off these um, from the other wire. Okay. So once that's off, you can now undo these like I did before and I broke them because I was doing it the wrong way. shouldn't actually be that tough. If it resists like it did before, stop and go the other direction. Yeah, <laughs> yeah guys, make sure you take these off the right way, because I did it the first time and I kind of broke them because I went the opposite way, because it's reverse, if you see. <laughs> these yeah. are these are pretty loose, to be honest, like you don't, you shouldn't, you shouldn't be tightened down all the way. what I was getting out. Okay, there's the second one. Cool, put this over here. Then, this caliper should just come straight out. Fairly easy to be honest, but you do have to lift up these metal things in the front. Now, I want to show you guys this look straight on. Um, the other time I put this up here and I was fine. It just get it out of the way um, and it's not bugging anything. So you're going to have this wire still attached to it, but then this is over there. Um, now right here, you just want to pull the brake pads out. These brakes are still good, so you don't have to change those. There's one in the back as well. You just literally just pull them and they come out. And you can see there's not a lot of wear. This part hasn't even been touched since it's been made. Okay, so on here, you don't want to touch this part, so kind of try not to. <laughs> and, uh... Oh, I need to get, well, I'll get this first. Okay, so over here, there's a, um, make sure you can see it. Over here, there's a, a cotter pin. Just pull that out. I don't know if they can see it, but I can't get close enough. Um. <laughs> Pretty much. 
you loosen it, come off with hand, uh, hand tight. Cool, so that's the piece I was taking out, and you put that to the side with the chest. Alright, so to get this thing out, you're going to hit right here with the hammer, don't hit the bottom part, hit the top part. Right out. Now this can turn on freely. Now you see how it's all loose and everything? It's not supposed to be actually be like that just by itself. Um, it, it, once you repair it, that'll be tighter. Um, Sorry, spin it again. The camera was too far down. Oh. So it's supposed to be able to spin like this. So, so far we're doing it just right. Now we gotta get this part off. All the tools are still on the other side. Alright, so to get this part off, the cover to the whatever you call it. <laughs> That's real technical. That's real technical shit. I don't know what these things are called. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just hitting shit. I just took this apart for nothing, guys. No, I'm just kidding. I know what everything's called. I'm like super smart and everything. <laughs> okay, there it goes. See, it's coming off. Now there's lots of grease below this, so what you're gonna want to do is keep your mouth open and get it all in your mouth because this stuff is great for your health. So it's coming off. Don't say that. Somebody might actually do it. If you're dumb enough to do that, please do it. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> and please video yourself dying. Okay, okay so that's the boot. And There's not supposed to be dirt in that type of stuff either. So the next part is the cotter pin. And yes, you're gonna get very messy right here. Sticking out. He almost got it. It's just really greasy. You have such a great personality. <laughs> okay. There we go, that's the cotter pin. And look over here. You want to place it inside of the boot, keep everything dirt free. You don't want dirt up in this thing. So the next thing that pops out is going to be this little um, piece that uh, holds like the cotter pin and everything like in place. Like, the bracket um, that goes over the bolt? Yeah, it basically goes over the bolt. I don't know what it's called. So put that in the boot. And then there's going to be a, should be hand tight uh, nut, but this one's not. So... Um, that way. Alright, and now you can undo it. Pull that all the way out. Make sure that drop on the floor. Okay. And now to get the rest of it out, you're going to hit on top. And you're basically going to pull that out. Okay, that's the first one's the washer. Put that in. And then the second one is actually the, uh, I forget what you call it. Oh, I'm touching that thing. The, uh, bearing. Can you just push it? Just make sure. Okay. 
Okay, so now then this part will come all the way off. So this part will have all that grease on there, just leave it on there. There's no reason to, um, you know, clean it and put more on. That stuff never comes off because it just, you know, it's, it's in a closed area. So just leave that. Um, what we did one time was uh, cover it with a bag so it doesn't get dirty. Make sure the bag's not dirty though. Don't get this stuff on your hands because it'll eat away your skin and you'll die. Whatever. <laughs> okay, so now if you come over here, there's another cotter pin up under here. And you gotta un or just pull out that cotter pin here and get it on this side. Oh, and push it through. that cutter pin. I'm gonna lay it right there for a second until we get this thing out. Um, I think this is the next thing, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're up to that. This is going a lot faster than the first time. Oh, I know. How the fuck do I get to it? We're already down to getting the thing off to replace the ball joints. This is great. Righty tidy, lefty loosey, bring it back the other. Okay, each time you do it, you gotta sound like you're having an orgasm. It makes it so much easier. That's what you sound like? No. It's, not. <laughs> it's my mold. just fall out and if you didn't there was rust that fell out you probably can't see it because it's on a screen or a camera okay so an hour later of turning this thing it finally is coming out all right and then above here this is a little clamp thingy, this does come out. So this is going to be the loud part. So basically, turn it right there, and I need you uh, more right there. <laughs> so basically, guys, you want to hit right here, and that will knock everything out. I did it before on the other side. It does work. It just takes a while. And you want to here. Fill me with your 
protection. Alright. So the other person should not have ear protection. Does that hurt? Alright, go ahead and get ear protection. I don't have any, just go. What? I don't have any. I don't have any. Oh, I can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Just go. Okay. There we go. Dropped out. You couldn't see, but I was using sign language. Uh, Alright, so this is it. Now, you see that? That is fucked up. That is not good, and you can feel how it can move around in there. That needs to be changed out, because you can see directly into it. That's bad. This top one's not so bad. Still, though, we're going to change it out, just because we have the parts. Well, yeah, wow. That's pretty bad. It, it's not supposed to be able to do that. It's supposed to be really sturdy and everything. And that's definitely not supposed to come off. <laughs> yeah, that's not. All right, so I took it out. I'm going to put it on basically a piece of wood and everything. So right here you have the seat clamp. Or it's the uh, ball joint service kit. Um, you need one of these. You don't need one, but it's really nice to have one. Uh, to take out the ball joints, you could just hit it with a sledgehammer to get it out and something. But we did that to put them back in because this is not the right size to put them back in. But this definitely helps take it out very easily. Um, you might not want to watch the part of us putting it back in. I like that noise. Okay. <laughs> I curse a lot and scream. <laughs> you know, needle nose pliers to help get them off. Just try to. Get it up like that at least. And you can try to get it off the rest of the way. Hey. And you get a new one with it. New I'll put this right. back over here. Not from last night, because I definitely was like done and your dad was helping you, but I do remember you used both of these. Oh, this side. Is that the right way? You gotta put the other one on the other side. I'm pretty sure you used both of them anyways. There we go. Here, hold that. Ow. We'll need to set up the camera somewhere for this one. So we both need to do this. I'm gonna have to stand on okay. it while you. It's not quite. I stood on it somehow. There we go. Let's uh, set up the camera. How do you want me? Do you want me to just hold it like this? Like? Should have done all right. So this is um, how you do this part. You just make sure you. We'll, we'll show you our the way we did it. You hear that? That means it's actually working.
we did actually do it a little differently. These cameras are, angles are going to be wonky because I keep falling off this wood. Oh, you don't have a... You don't have a machine to retighten these things up. Oh yeah, we're <laughs> using it right now. Huh? I mean, this is what we have to do that. We're taking the old yeah. ball joints out right now. Okay, yeah, we're good with this. We'll just knock it out. The hammer. Yeah. I don't know if it's just going. Let's go the opposite way now. Stand on it. Okay, so if you see, this is the setup we had. Oops. Okay, so this was on uh, this was on this side of it, like that, and then you had this part uh, over neat, over that, and then this right here, and uh, this should just hit out easily with the hammer. Clamp the cord though. See, it falls right out. So that's the really nasty one. Ugh. Yeah. See all that grease? It's supposed to be completely dry inside. I'm just kidding. Uh. It's supposed to be lots of grease. So you can tell it's definitely down deeper. Yeah, you can see it coming out now. Yeah. It's just pushing the thing out. And it's out now. So just undo this. And it's all good now. Take this back out. Take this out. And there we go. That's it, and I really fucked up on the photo. But this one technically is kind of okay. It's not really moving very much, but we're gonna still replace it. <clears throat> the first thing you do is you wanna clean up this and the inside, uh, mostly the insides of this. So, I mean, you gotta get that rust out and make it kind of shiny again. Uh, but just on the insides. The outsides don't matter. The sandpaper, oh, you already found some. The green thingy. Where's the green thing on the sandpaper? Huh? Where, where are these things? Shut up. Um, 
Yeah, you use some kind of, yeah, there you go. Oh. What? We could have sprayed it down with that other stuff. What other stuff? The stuff stuff. The stuff stuff? Yeah. The okay. One. The stuffy stuff stuff. So basically, you want to just keep uh, rubbing this shit until it comes off. And I am using this, the rust, or the must for rust crud cutter. Um, and a Brillo pad thing. To get off the main stuff though, I'm gonna use the, um, I think it's 150 grit something like that sandpaper it's not like super coarse you don't want this to be super coarse and make all things in the metal um, like scrapes and everything um, just make it clean again you know this is important because it's gonna make it so it doesn't rust uh, as fast you're getting away a lot of a lot of the rust because rust creates more rust so just Get rid of the excess rust at least. Probably not all of it's gonna come off if it's really old. See how it's kind of getting that rust off. I mean, you see how rusty the entire thing is. But that was the one that I just did. It's terrifying. Do not do this. Do not do what's about to happen don't do it if i live through this don't do it okay so this is what we're using the mood um there's two different types there's a upper and a lower um this is you gotta look at it that's the lower is it the lower or the let's see the lower one is the that's, bigger one okay then that's the upper that's the one we just took out that yeah. was the one that gave us problems yeah yeah this is the no no the other one was the the lower gave us problems See, now, this is good, it can hardly move around, but it can move around at least a little bit. So the bottom part right here, you're gonna actually take that off once you install it, and um, you're gonna put the little uh, attachment uh, to it that's gonna go in like that. Um, that allows you to put uh, grease inside of it. Yeah. So these are called ball joints, by the way. That's what we're fixing. <laughs> in case you didn't see the title of this video. Is it like this? Yeah. That's correct. Alright, so now how do we do this this morning? We use one of these parts. Stephanie doesn't want to remember how we did it this morning. Nope. I don't want to know. I don't want to do it now. Well, we're doing it. Okay, so that's basically rest upon here. And by the way, guys, we're doing this because this C-clamp thing doesn't fit correctly on this piece. It just doesn't. Did we take this all the way off with that? That was how we did it. Yeah. You sound happier and happier every breath. Yeah. I don't like doing this. I don't want to do it. This is the part where Stephanie dies. We already know in advance because we've already watched the part after this. This is recorded after her death. Just saying guys. Hi Stephanie's parents. I'm sorry. Don't you love how he's so nonchalant about my intimate demise? Okay, put it right I am holding. No. no, I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready. Okay, so hold both parts. Just... We're gonna have to put the phone down. Why hold both parts? Okay, now it's recording. Don't do this. Don't anybody be stupid enough to do this. Don't. Don't do it. I'm a dumb fuck. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. That's what's gonna happen today. I'm gonna die. Hey guys, anyone near here needs to have hearing protection. If you don't, you will damage your ears. Everyone. 
All right, so you ready? With the joke that I don't have any? Yeah. <laughs> you said you didn't want them. Okay, ready? I don't have I'll any. Put your hand right here in the top. I don't want you squishing it. Let's make sure it's lined up. It's good. No, it needs to go down. There. I know. Ow. Ow. What? You good? Yep. Down a little more. Okay. So the new ball joints, and I have the hearing protection on because if you didn't, your hearing would be gone by now. Um, so that's the new ball joint, the lower. Um, so on the lower one, you gotta see that it does come, let me see if I can get that. It comes out enough so you could put on the new C-clamp or the old one if they don't give you one. Yeah, we got a new one. Yeah, we have a new one in this. This is the stuff they give you. They give you uh, one of the nuts that you put the cotter pin through and then the C-clamp. Uh, where's the... We're almost done. Okay, so if you see, you just put them through the holes and you open it up. I may need help. Okay, so I'm gonna do it on the top. Just hold it steady. Take out your little end pieces. And what we're gonna do now is put the other little piece in there. Which looks like this. So that, uh, you know, threaded side, of course, goes inside. This is uh, so you can uh, grease it up later. If you see. Okay, so now we're going to do the top one. And for this one, you only need this part. Hold that right there. Which is even this one goes terrifying. on a little easier. It's even more terrifying. <sighs> okay, I'm going to attempt to do this without looking. No! <laughs> All right, ready? No! Make sure it's lined up too, by the way. You don't want it going in the wrong way. All right, got it. Don't hit my thumb again. I hate you so much. <laughs> Stop! It's going in right. Yeah, it feels right. All right, ready? No. That's bad. Stop. Uh, l uh, lower your hand just a tiny little bit. Ow, fuck. Did it hit? No, it got pinched, which is why I was trying not to lower it too much. Oh, sorry. A little bit more, so there's still too much space in there. Just one more.
All right, so that's the installed top part and the bottom part. So they both go like that. Like I said, you want to basically just put it up, back up in there. That could fall off. It's fine. Um, and then uh, to keep it from falling, just put this nut back up on there. It's like the one that looks like that. Uh, come on, come on. This thing's heavy. And all right, so that's good. And then put you can go ahead and just put that thing back up in there. It just sits loosely right there for right now. Um, the fuck? It all came off. <laughs> So this one you want it tight, as tight as you can do it. I'm gonna actually have to do it over here. So I'm gonna So close, but Stephanie does not have a cigar. I just want to bend that cotter pin all the way up and just push it down on the top. Okay, so that's good. And now this thing you want up here at the top. And Do you have to put the pin in first? No. Alright, so that thing's down. 
Now the next thing, that's not the right side. You gotta rotate it over here. This is the correct side to put it in. Um, so you're gonna do this. Make sure it just goes in. Good. I don't think that one needs to be tightened too much. Um, I'm actually just kind of guessing. I need for these to fall out. So that's how that kind of goes. There's a big goop. Plenty of grease, see? <laughs> oh, can you just hold that on? Just push that up. So originally this thing was only hand tightened. That's not what we're gonna do. But what about dirt? Okay. What about getting dirt on it? No. Okay. Dirt's fine. We're gonna shoot dirt up into this. <laughs> Shut up. You're such a butt. <sighs> Okay, so you tighten this up just to where, and it's probably going to go for a second because it's pushing the stuff back inside of it. Um, but you tighten this up just to the point where it gets tight, and then you, like that, and then you loosen it. Just a tiny bit. Oops. Push that back. And... Almost done with this part. steers and you put that back up and up here you put this little nut back on and screw it down to the point where you can put the carter pin into it.
is this, this is slow away, but this is the only tool I have for this. So. to that point yet. We haven't put the, 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 what you call it, back on. The brakes. And the... Oh, this car drives without brakes. Shut your face. <laughs> Don't put the brakes on, everyone. Like, it's really dangerous to drive with the brakes. Where's the... hitting down the brake uh, holder things. The brake. That's what it's called. <laughs> the brake holder things? Yes, the brake holder things. That's a technical name. Okay, that goes up a little bit. And then the other side of the way. He wants to stab himself in the face today. Yeah, that should be good. Next thing, the stuff that we bought. It's over there somewhere. So this is basically, um, this they call it ceramic extreme brake lubricant. Uh, it's anti-seize, is what I've heard it been called. You want to basically put it on the spots that the brakes are going to slide up and down on. Um, try not to get it on the actual uh, cylinder. Sure, yeah. cylinder. <laughs> I'm just putting it all over it. Without these things um, goes in the back, of course. Let's see, it goes on this way. Just kidding, it goes this way. No, just kidding again, this way. And get it up from underneath it. So that one's on. And then this side. Those are both on now. What are you doing? Alright, so now the caliper can go back on. Okay. 
Basically, just wiggle this thing back into spot. Like that. And that's good. Okay, and then the nuts, or the, I mean, the screws that go back in, that look like this, go back into the slider. The ones we didn't break this time. Exactly. Yay for us. These do not tighten too much. These just kind of go in and have fun sitting where they do. I don't think this one is actually lined up. Okay. What's wrong with this one? Don't break it. Oh. Oh, sorry. Your camera person did not appreciate that. All up in my shot. All up in it. Okay, back up. The rubber piece was in the way. Again, you don't want to tighten these down too much. I need to find the thing that attaches to it. Uh, the tightening. Okay, so that one's good. It's just tight enough. Yeah, it's tight enough. So those are good now. put this piece back in Gentle release of the band. 